Say you want to produce a live stream that includes multiple guests, but there's a snag. These busy experts live in a different part of the world. There's no way you can afford to fly them all in for your stream. No worries, it's completely possible to host your roundtable live stream remotely. Chris here from VideoMaker. There are time codes below if you want to know what we're covering or want to jump to any place in the video. Are you a beginning filmmaker? If so, we have a shopping list of the nine essential things every beginning filmmaker needs when getting started. To get it, click on this card or click on the link in the description. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to bring multiple guests from around the world into your live stream production. There are several ways to go about this, so we'll show you a few different options from easy to more advanced. First, we'll go over how to use Skype and NDI to host a remote guest. Then we'll talk about how to improve the quality of your Skype input with Skype TX. We'll also cover how to use NDI Bridge to connect multiple NDI networks together for a remote live stream. Along with that, we'll look at how NDI remote and NDI enabled PTZ cameras can benefit a multimedia live production. Finally, we'll look at how to use Live Call Connect to separate a group call into multiple video inputs. Let's get started. First, let's look at Skype and NDI. It's our simplest option. Skype, of course, allows us to video chat with people across the internet. It's a tool you've likely used before. NDI stands for Network Device Interface. Developed by NewTek, it enables interconnected IP-based live stream workflows. With video over IP, we can send a video signal and other data over a network connection. Typically, we use HDMI and SDI cables to connect our camera sources to our live stream encoder. However, thanks to video over IP, we can now use a network connection instead. This may not sound like a big difference, but it opens up a lot of possibilities. Since you don't need to worry about long cable runs, you can place your cameras pretty much anywhere. You can also bring a great variety of sources since you can use any source connected to the network in your production. Okay. But what does it mean for your live stream? Basically, video over IP tech like NDI provide an easy way to connect all of your production gear together. In our case, we'll use NDI to bring a video signal from Skype into our live stream. NDI allows the live stream encoding software to recognize the Skype call as a video input. Step one is to make sure that you have Skype and your NDI compatible live streaming software choice installed on your computer. Some live streaming software may not support NDI, or you may need to install a plugin. For instance, if you're using OBS, it depends on what live streaming system you're using. Then you'll need to head over to your live streaming software and add the call as a source. To do this, add a new NDI source and select your Skype call when prompted. This option works for calls with up to four participants. If you need support for more participants, you may want to consider upgrading your setup to Skype TX. Skype TX is basically the broadcast version of Skype and it offers the best video quality possible for Skype guests. It's a hardware and software solution that allows broadcasters to integrate Skype interviews into professional live production. To use Skype TX, you'll need a Skype TX appliance. This device optimizes the Skype call and gives you the option to input and output higher quality video signals. There are a few different dedicated options, but the new Tech TriCaster Mini 4K has Skype TX built in. You'll also need the Skype TX controller software to manage Skype calls and their video feed. The software also provides broadcast tools to prevent distractions during the stream. For instance, you can set a snapshot image to appear when the call's video quality drops below a certain threshold. To set up a Skype TX input for your live stream, start by connecting the Skype TX box to your network and plugging in any needed video connections. Next, open up the Skype TX controller software and sign into your desired Skype account. Then add your Skype TX box as a connection using the IP name or IP address. Once the box is set up, you'll be able to use Skype TX controller to make and receive calls from any Skype user. You can also adjust the video and audio output as needed. This Skype TX output can then be selected as a video source in your streaming software. Now let's turn our attention to NDI Bridge. This tool allows us to link different local NDI networks so that they can collaborate over the internet. That means that people from all over the world can work together on a single live production. To set up an NDI Bridge connection, download NDI tools and open up NDI Bridge on a PC. From there, choose the host option. Here you can select which source groups you want to share. To find the bridge name and access your public IP address, port, and encryption key. You'll need both a public IP address and an open port for this to work. 
Take note of the IP port and password information for the next step. Hint, use the copy button. Then over the second network, open NDI bridge and choose the join option. Join using the information provided by the host. Once the two NDI networks are connected, every NDI connected device across both networks will be available to every other device. This means you can use any device on either network as a video source for your live stream. If you only want to bring in one remote video source, you can opt out and use NDI Remote. NDI Remote allows you to use a web browser to provide a live feed. It doesn't require that you have an NDI enabled source device for it to work. It will take that source camera through the web browser and make it available as an NDI feed on your local network. Now, Let's say you want to host a stream using multiple cameras, but you don't have any extra camera operators. You could simply set up a camera and leave it as a static frame, or you could use a PTZ camera to capture a variety of dynamic shots. A pan tilt zoom camera or PTZ camera for short allows you to change the framing of your shot remotely. As the name suggests, you can pan tilt and zoom these cameras from the operating booth. And with NDI enabled PTZ cameras, all of this can be controlled over a network connection. Many PTZ cameras can even offer power over ethernet, further cutting down the cables needed to get your production up and running. The last option we'd like to cover is Live Call Connect. For this, you'll need the NewTek TriCaster 1 Pro or the TriCaster 2 Elite. Live Call Connect allows you to create separate inputs from up to nine video callers. The software works with a number of different video chat apps, including Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, FaceTime, Zoom, Skype TX, Microsoft Teams, Discord, Slack, and Tencent. To use this feature, open up your TriCaster interface and access the app desktop from the workspace options. Then you can open up your virtual calling app of choice and connect to your guests. Once your call is connected, click on the gear menu at the top of the screen and select assign callers to inputs. Then click live to lock your call settings and send the call feeds to the TriCaster interface. Back to the TriCaster switching interface, you can now use the input from each caller as you would any other camera input. Now you know a few different ways to bring multiple remote video feeds into your next live production. The simplest option is to use Skype and NDI, but you can upgrade to Skype TX if you need those additional features. Or you could instead opt to use NDI tools like NDI Bridge or NDI Remote to connect to your remote video sources. PTC cameras are also a great option if you want to be able to control the framing of your shots from the control room. Finally, if you're using a new Tech TriCaster 1 Pro or the new TriCaster 2 Elite, you can bring up to nine callers on separate channels. With all of these options, there's nothing stopping you from hosting a successful remote multi-camera live stream. Remember, if you'd like to get our shopping list of the nine essential things every beginning filmmaker needs, click on this card here or the link in the description. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing and liking this video. In the next video, we'll cover how to create an engaging live stream. Thanks for watching.